In this video, we're going to look at how to link a Google form to a Google Sheet so that as people fill in your form, all of their response details are recorded within a spreadsheet. First of all, let's create our Google form. An easy way to get to the correct web page for that is to type in the following forms.google.com. Then on this page, I click on blank and I can start creating my form. So I'm going to call this one employee survey. And then I've got to start creating my questions. First question is just going to ask for their name. I'm going to make this a short answer. Then I'll create another question. So I can click on add questions over here. Last name. And again, I'm going to make that a short answer. Next one. Which department are you in? And for that, I want a drop down menu. And then I can put in my drop down options. So IT, HR, sales, admin. Next question, which courses would you like to do? And for this, we'll have check boxes so they can choose more than one option. I'll say Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI. And finally, I'll ask, how would you rate this form? And for that, I want a linear scale. I'll choose linear scale there. So one would be awful. Five would be great. Okay, now I do need to decide which of my questions are mandatory. The first name I'll say is required. Last name is required. Which department required? Now up here, I notice that the form doesn't automatically refresh with the title that you've given it. But if you click up here, it does refresh. So that's our basic form designed. Next, you go to responses. And this is where you decide what you're going to do with the responses. Now we want to connect to a Google Sheet spreadsheet. So we click on this button and we're gonna create a new spreadsheet. And it's automatically named it for us, employee survey responses. So I just click on create. And it will show me that spreadsheet with the relevant column headings. I'll go back to my survey. Next thing I'm going to do is go to settings. If I expand responses, one thing you can do is collect email addresses. What that means is that the respondent will only be able to submit the form if they also give their email address. You can send a responder a copy of their response, but that requires their email address. You can allow response editing, so responses can be changed after submitting. And you can also limit to one response, but that requires a sign in to their Google account. Under presentation, some useful options, show progress bar on the form, shuffle question order. After submission, I'd probably always fill this in, confirmation message. So if I click on edit, you could say something like, thank you for taking the time to fill in this form. Click on save. Uh, show link to submit another response. I'm going to disable that. View result summary. You can share a result summary with your respondents and you can also disable auto save for all respondents. Okay, so I'm now ready to send my form. And to do that, I click on send. Now, when you click on send, there are three methods for sending the form. The first would be to send it via this dialog box here. And all you would do is list all the email addresses that you want to send the form to. And you can specify a subject line and a message. Now you can also include the email in the form so they can fill in the form directly within their email application. Now we're not going to do that. We're actually going to use the second method, which is to use a link. You could send this link within an email. You can also shorten the URL of the link. 
The third option, by the way, just to look at is the ability to embed some HTML into a web page. Maybe it's an internal page that your organization uses. So this will allow users to fill in the form on that web page. So as I said, we're going to use this link. I copy this. I go up to here, paste the link in, press enter. And let's fill in this form. So when was your start date? I'll say I started yesterday. Which department are you in? IT. I want to do all these courses and I think the form is great. So I click on submit. There's the little message to thank the form filler. Now, if I go back to my spreadsheet, you can see now it's recorded that response. Now, if you don't already have your Google Sheet response spreadsheet up on the screen, so if I close this down and you want to get back to that spreadsheet, then you just need to go back to your form and you can get to your form by using that same URL, forms.google.com. There's your form. If I click on it, and if I go to responses, there's my response spreadsheet. Click on it and it will open up the spreadsheet. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video.